have to quit everything and restart. Yeah, yeah. You might be able to view in browser as well. I don't know how well that'll work, but it might be worth a shot. What, the, the Twitch stream? Yeah, or no, go to discord.gg, load discord in your uh, browser. I don't know if you can watch never... the broadcast live that way, but... I have not tried that. We're... First of all, hi everybody. I hope hi. we are celebrating the end of the turn. Because I am. Some people are. <laughs> yeah. We just had Semester a really, people probably are. <laughs> really successful showcase uh, yesterday, actually. Did broadcast of our senior projects and our capstone classes to five or six different game studios, uh, who were all very nice to come and watch, and had a blast looking at some student projects and some student successes. For what has been a very difficult semester at Michigan State. I bet, yeah. Uh, also, first of all, hi, uh, Jin. Second of all, I cannot believe we have not talked about this game yet. For me, and I play a lot of Metroidvania games, uh, the regulars know I'm really good at most of these. I have never finished Hollow Knight. Wow. A, B, it absolutely changed the entire paradigm for aesthetics in this entire genre of game. And the bar was already Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It was high. And this game absolutely, somehow, for a small team, raised it so significantly that... I don't know. Like, Hollow Knight is wildly excellent in terms of music, as you can hear this beautiful string solo above the piano. Uh, in terms of the game design, in terms of the immersive, like... How much narrative you want? Uh, it's like Wild Dana up here. a 2D conversion of Metroid Prime. Almost. Hey, it's Dana. Hi. The That's game's awesome. here. That means My I can theory. Quit. It's been so long since all four of us have been here in the same time for two, at least a few minutes. That's true. It's been <laughs> yeah. a couple months. It's hey, been my theory one whole small as to human ago. I had to restart. <laughs> was the string quartet I was working on was so awesome, it broke my machine. <laughs> nice. That never happens. I mean, that's to the me. only explanation. <laughs> I, was, I was just working on it before, and then I went to join the call, and it was like, nope. Uh, yeah, wild. Hello, chat. Hello, friends. We're all together. Wild, we have never played this game. And I will finally learn how it's different from Shovel Knight. I know, I used to get them mixed up. <laughs> Which I always mix up. <laughs> uh, this one is much, much harder. And Shovel Knight's not an easy game. No. But Shovel Knight, Shovel Knight is, like, not impossibly difficult either. Like, it's very playable. So I don't know if y'all have seen... Um, on like an Instagram or a TikTok, people talking about beverage goblins. No. But it's, it's the idea of usually women <laughs> that I've seen needing like three emotional support beverages. And one of them is usually coffee or tea. One of them is something hydrating, like like a big water flask. And then there's like a fun one. And that is me tonight. This doesn't <laughs> feel gendered. I'm a beverage yeah. goblin. That's true. That's true. I've just I've only seen like TikToks and and Instagram reels from women, but so that they're the ones that introduced me to the concept. But yeah, I'm I'm being a beverage goblin because I have saffron, masala chai, <laughs> uh, and then I have sake that my friend Priya sent me. And look at these beautiful glasses. They've got like gold leaf in them. Aren't they cool? That's much cooler than at the bottom. They're from my... Japan. <laughs> she sent the sake and the glasses to drink them in as a thank you for throwing her baby shower. That's really nice. And she has now had a sweet little girl and everyone's doing really well. So Yay. Um so yeah, I That made... was fast. Well, yeah, yeah. We had the, the shower the beginning of April and then she was due the end of April, so Yeah. So the reason that everybody writes about this game in the music classes is because this game absolutely rules. And it's not just because they watch the 8-Bit Theory videos on it and just 
I really have to sit down and watch those because people bring them uh, actually a lot of my students don't but other people bring them up all the time <laughs> and I don't I don't know that I've ever sat down and watched any of them and I should I, I watch a lot of them. other like people doing video essays on gaming but it's usually not yeah. music I Jen, for what it's worth I'm in the exact same boat where I can talk about this game's praises all day it's spectacular but I have nothing compelling to say about it other than it's absolutely brilliant and all of you should own it <laughs> people yeah, like to I talk about the really strong like light motivic connections in this like the theme is very prevalent and I know that 8-bit theory also talks about instrumentation um, I know that my student whose paper I'm expecting in like three hours <laughs> talks is talking about uh, actually the final boss and some of the sort of style really interesting stylistic I know I'm like okay fine I'm okay with <laughs> no, we'll I'm okay with having spoiler. a game that's been out for a while spoiled it's like these kinds of games things that aren't out yet however music, it's like okay that's fine. I if any nobody in the spoiled. chat say anything if you have gotten the leak of tears of the kingdom because i will like not be happy and, and it's not because i care about spoilers i'm just like mad about it in principle <laughs> i don't actually think that there's a lot that will be spoiled for me in in that game but you're wrong about that also well. Some of us who have been playing Tears of the Kingdom for a couple of days now uh, are having an absolute blast with it, and I mm -hmm. cannot wait to talk about it with all of you. I have sworn uh, my soul away to Dana that I won't spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so my, let's see, I have Saffron, Masala, Chai, and then I have the Sake, which is called Pearl's Simplicity. That's I was interesting. actually complaining to Addie earlier. I was like, none of my friends have it in advance and I can't talk to anybody about it. And she said, your friends will never be less sympathetic to you than they are when you complain about that, so don't. <laughs> well, you did I marry a very, very smart woman. <laughs> I love that you framed it as a parenting solution. You're like, well, look, everyone in this household <laughs> likes Zelda, so I have to play it first. Is, yes, it is a parenting solution. Absolutely. Oh, God. Here's our first big Elder bug. theme. <laughs> okay, so why are we hollow? Did I miss, like, is he missing his soul or something? We have been given almost no context. Uh, okay, okay. I'm just making sure that I didn't, like, miss. The is there bug is so interesting cute. vocal stuff going on? I heard some words, but then I didn't hear them. It was it's kind like of like Animal wah, wah, wah. Crossing beep speech vocals. It's Hollow Nighties. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ho oh, there, Hollow Traveler. <laughs> so, Karen, have you played this one? You so, you, you seemed really excited about it. Or are you in the same boat as, like, Julian and I? <laughs> I own it. I've done a little bit. I never got enough time to get further into it. And one day, I will. But now I it's not some, that time. I have some gaming planned this summer. I would like to plan to do and something. And it won't, it won't just be Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I keep buying games. Yeah. But I'm not, I don't have any time to play them, or I don't have the hands to play them. And so I don't know why I keep buying them. I'm like, I just need to stop. My one complaint about Hollow Knight, I will note now, because it's going to affect our stream today, is many of the early and mid-game upgrades are tied to money. And you just cannot get enough money fast enough to be satisfying to me. And then eventually you're kind of rolling in it, I imagine. I feel like a lot of games are like that. A lot of life will not get rolling have... in Oh yeah, the pacing of the money. That's a whole thing, yeah. Yes, my save file on this, Dana, is 23 hours in and I don't have enough money. Yeah. It's Joe. This is a bigger <laughs> issue in this game than in many others in the genre. It's the it's one Joe. problem I've got with it. Oh, Andrew's happy we're playing Hollow Knight. I'm I'm glad like the response was basically like, I really all are finally like Hollow playing Knight the game. To come in and because <laughs> everyone is like, yay! And I'm like, I wonder if there's anyone that's just like, this game. Like like I want an antagonist. <laughs> you're not going to find gonna get one for this one. title. It is yeah. universally acclaimed. Yeah, I've heard from the music and otherwise. 
Disco I Cactus think. did a Hollow Knight track. Right? Yes, that's there. actually the one I bought the sheet music for. On their album. Nice. It's so pretty. I've and there's something some really fascinating. Really? If you go listen to the yeah. Disco Cactus one, maybe we'll do that at the end of the stream tonight. Yeah. Because what they did <laughs> is their guest artist on that track is Kristen Nagus, who is the wind player for Ori in the uh, Will of the Wisps, which is the competing title, of course, and it gives it this fascinating, like, crossover sound, if that makes sense. Oh. I didn't realize it was framed as competition. Well, I mean, I'm, both games in the same genre released the around the Ori, same time. yeah. I don't I think got they, like, actively dislike stuff. each other or anything. I definitely got them aesthetically mixed up, I think, but like name wise, it was Shovel Knight and Hollow Knight. I got mixed up and just like the, fell through the cracks this game. I own it and still haven't played it. And always have to tell the, the students, yeah, I know it's good. I know the music's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. The music is good. I know the, I know the music a little bit, but they, I haven't finished the game, but I've used some of the, there's a couple of tracks that show up in work I will eventually finish. Yes. Gosh. I'd love to finish anything. <laughs> if I can ever wrap my head around my gender book chapter, I actually this is in it. Uh, oh, Karen, a book chapter in, what, three weeks? Four weeks? Oh, God. It's yeah, a lot, so of us, uh, a lot of us owe each other things right now. <laughs> I just, I didn't, I keep thinking that <laughs> I'll be so far. it's just not. My book's deadline is literally a month away. That's terrifying. God. How is it almost June? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. We'll all be fine. <laughs> yeah, a lot of us are finishing semesters, this so... This is it's, the it's end of finals week for me. My wild. grades are due this coming Tuesday. Same. Which, which Tuesday, makes owning probably. Tears of the Kingdom very sad right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, for some of us, it actually worked that. out where... <laughs> Oh, yeah, the quarter system is the literal worst. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm playing a lot of Stardew these days because I know the music so well that I can have it off without feeling pangs of angst about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, spoilers, this room, this thing can, in fact, be opened. But, uh, not until the very end of the game. <laughs> Kefka invented the quarter system. What a jerk. <sighs> Truly. We can't even call him a spoony bard because that's a different game. <laughs> we do have the other, our other emote is the spoony bard. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and we do have one more. I keep forgetting to add it. Sorry, friends. I'll be better at that once the semester is actually done. Yeah. 700 assignments. That is a lot. Do you... That is ridiculous. That is Remember he has massive classes. Too many assignments. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Yeah. I met with my TA today um, to go over final projects for the undergrad video game class. But it was just a delight because so many of them did like creative projects where like they replaced the video game music in a video game and like wrote it themselves and like that kind of stuff so it was really fun as an aside while we're listening to this characters that sing to themselves are my favorite characters <laughs> i thought that was neil i was like neil and then i was like wait, <laughs> that's, okay, wait that's the game well, <laughs> That almost sounded like Japanese. It did sound like Japanese a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds I would like... love a map. Oh, ah, beep, beep. Look at that. Oh, Which everyone turning in everything at the end of the, of the day asking if I got it. Yeah, that's... I almost... Yeah. <laughs> and can, we, can you see <sighs> the knight in the <laughs> background? He actually opens the map to look at mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I love oh, that. Cute. Cute. That's a nice detail. I love that kind of attention to detail. I will um, note the map 
uh, does not include where you are by default. So we don't know that right now, and that's okay. Is he singing a, a familiar tune or a tune that in this game becomes familiar? It, becomes familiar it sounds because, familiar. Because he sings it every area. You find him to get the map. Oh, he always sings this, yeah. Yeah, he's just jolly. Cool. That's some More sound study should stuff. Be public singing confidently, in my opinion. Hmm, I don't know about are. that. <laughs> Depends on. No elevators, no airplanes, thank you. <laughs> cool, creepy caves? Absolutely. I'll take I'll take some public singing there. So I've turned toast is watching. I wonder if that means that my little one is watching as well. Oh going, mama! She'll point at the screen where I am and go, Mama. <laughs> I should have um, put on some cool eyeliner so I could pretend I'm you. <laughs> And confuser since no, all, the same. all brunettes look the same. It's all brunettes. <laughs> oh, she looked up when I said that. That's cute. Oh. That's cute. She's getting to a very fun age. Oh, yeah. I need to go back upstairs to the town and buy the quill so I can start updating my map for me. We'll do that after this room. Is this done? Okay, so who's who's the music by? Christopher Larkin. Oh, okay. Whose birthday remains a loop. Did we find, find out the birth date for your student? Yeah, my student uh, did find out the birthday, but no thanks to me. I have no idea how she did it. Ah. But there was a date there, and I'm assuming she would not have put one that she did right. not have a That she just made up. <laughs> yeah, seems like a millennial. <laughs> Yeah, it's so funny, because, like, the Wikipedia just lists years active. That's what we do in medieval studies, though. Just flourished. I, I really like that. <laughs> just do it now. Just be like, flourished 2023. I love yeah. that. Like, I love that so much. What's that meme? Unbothered, moisturized, in my lane. <laughs> in my flourishing. lane, yeah. Flourishing. <laughs> yeah. One of the interesting things about Hollow Knight, in terms of game design relative to its peers, is that in almost every other Metroidvania, you eventually become super powerful, and you, you get to quit playing the game in a normal way. For instance, once Samus gets the screw attack, it just doesn't matter as much anymore, right? You don't have to do the things. That never occurs here, really. I can fix that. There, I'm louder now. Check me out. Ryan, you're very quiet, apparently. Yes, I just, well, not quite doubled my microphone volume, but I, I fixed it. There it is. Oh, got hit. It's actually feminism to make Ryan's voice quieter than the rest of us. Yeah, we're doing it on purpose. <laughs> we're actually doing a feminism, <laughs> so. He was trying to balance out uh, my quietness. because Doing a feminism. So yeah, it's like it's like doing a Google, you know. Exactly one feminism. It's it like also how we changed Ryan's middle name to Marie to match the rest of us. True. We legally true. changed his name. Legally, it's on it's on paper. In our minds. <gasps> the bureaucracy of it all. Bell. Oh, makes a bell sound. You can ring the bell. Yep, it summons. This guy. Ooh. Yeah, he sounds like he's. I need to say excuse you. He needs to be a little more moisturized. <laughs> Alright, now Dermot we can go back to so town. Cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. It's a mighty steed. Around! Hey, it's Jerome! Oh. What's up, Arrow? Hi. And Arrow's friends? Yeah, Good to see stuff. you. <laughs> We are correcting a an error, not an error. We're correcting a an oversight, having never actually played Hollow Knight on stream. Filling a gap. Filling a gap. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the lacuna. Oh my God! Yes, great word. Great. That's the scholarly oh, way of saying. Papanada. 
Yes. Which I, I discovered as a word, Perhaps not not, not through a video game, but because of the band Lacuna Coil that I listened to in high school. So I had to look up what the word Lacuna meant when I heard of them. Lacuna Matata. If anybody knows <laughs> Lacuna Coil, give a shout in the chat. Right, now we have our quill. We can actually start they playing are, the game a little bit here. They are an Italian gothic metal band. That sounds very cool, though. Kind of evanescence, of course, but like Greg Italian vibes. <laughs> like, kind of have an evanescency sound in that the the um, Christina Scabia, the the lead singer, has has a bit of that like Amy Lee quality in her vocals. It goes much harder. <laughs> I mean, my mortal's pretty great, right? I can, yeah, they did come out. Be, I remember yeah, thinking that they ripped off Lacuna Coil, but I also wasn't mad about it because I was like, oh, cool, another band like this. Yeah, this is the temple. Okay. We have to go to the right and down and then left. Oh, yeah, I should listen to some Lacuna Coil. It's been, a, it's been a minute. When did this game come out? Many years ago. Like, uh, are we talking like 2003? <laughs> like, how, how many? This has got to be... I'm I think it's, again. it's not 10 years old yet, but it's closer to that than anybody would like to remember it. 2017. Why did oh, everything come out in 2017? I was making. I, I I'm making. It. <laughs> 2017 was a big year. I'm making um, prompts, uh, like listening prompts for my video game summer class, and mm. I I was like trying to jump around and do stuff for multiple eras, and like I kept coming up with games that came out in 2017. <laughs> I'm like that was a good year, apparently. Yeah, good vintage. <laughs> a very good vintage. <laughs> That sounds very much uh, <laughs> Lincoln like Park <injury>. for girls. <laughs> that that hits me right in the mid two thousands. Yeah, twenty seventeen was a good. Actually, let me open up my my prompts without giving away what the prompts are. Uh, just the games that I came up with because I was logging like the years to try to then narrow it down. Uh, let's see. 2017. Yeah, Mario Odyssey was 2017. Hero. Like, I can picture Michelle saying. Cuphead was 2017. <laughs> Celeste. Celeste was 2018. Uh, Breath, Breath of the Wild, of I think, was Wild. also 2017, right? Uh huh. Yeah, it was. Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh huh. Um, oh, another... Um... Right, we'll go down and around the whole way again. Sorry about this, everybody. Mm -hmm. Was there some big soul horny game that came out, too? Um, uh, Maybe that was a little later. When was, like, Ghost of Tsushima? Maybe that was later. That was later. That was later. Um... I also own Ghost of Tsushima and... Wolfenstein 2? The Electric Blue. Yeah. Electric. Night in the Woods was 2017. Mm. Sonic Mania was 2017. Little Nightmares was 2017. Wow. That's <laughs> a good year for years ever. That was a very Storm Blood. <laughs> FF14. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm just kidding. I actually like Storm Blood as well. The music's very good. I really like Stormblood's music. I Assassin's like the game, the game too. I like Assassin's Creed Origins, which I'm currently working on. Kind of. <laughs> I've done some reading. That's that's where I'm at yeah, with that. Yeah, Nier Automata was 2017. I thought that was Hel like Hellblade, big. which I'm also working on. Uh, Destiny 2. That's a big one. Drill. Yeah, a lot of games. A lot of good go. games in 2017. <laughs> mm -hmm. Near a tomato. I, I like that. This thing is large. Check it out. Storm blorm. Gosh, I gotta play some, some of that. The rise of meter music. 
Intensities whenever you're fighting. Intensities? Injured it, it, Intensities. That's my band name, I guess. <laughs> no, we're, we're in Avian Chaos with Kate. Oh yeah, I can't have too many bands. That's just too stressful. <laughs> That's a lot of, a lot of rehearsals to coordinate. I know, I'm like already like, my calendar. <laughs> what will I do? <laughs> oh, the wingspan one. Yeah, that's, that's fun stuff. We're not going to give anybody grief about finishing anything today, though, because it's like <laughs> the end no. of the semester for everyone. I agree. We Third won't. games. We can get we can get back to that next week. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Kate. Speaking of bird games, I sent the stream team a game that I really want to do on stream that if you don't know it, you will love it. Um, cause it is called, I have to look it up cause I forgot. It's called Skate Bird. And oh yeah. It, it's like, it's like a skateboarding game, but you're, you're a tiny adorable bird on a skateboard. So. That that's one to add to the list. The theme <laughs> also, came the music back. sounds like it's gonna be amazing, so uh, definitely gonna buy that soon. I still think we should do bird gut at some point. Bird gut. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't remember anything about what that's about. I just remember the name coming up. We just need to have a, a bird month, and then also have Kate on and just do a theme. Oh yeah, Kate can come on and do bird games with us. We'll do skate yeah. bird and. And bird gut. Bird gut. Bird gut's cute. Bird it's just, it's a cute little little platformer. We could we could do wingspan like since it's a board game we could all play. That would, yeah. that would be kind of fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get Frank on for wingspan. That would be fun. Oh yeah. yeah. I wouldn't even have to play. I do have the actual physical board game, but I don't have the digital version. But yeah, there's definitely some new games that I'm planning on adding to my list of things that I own. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna die, team. I also finally made a stream. It made <laughs> it to stream. Me too. <laughs> it's been, it's been a minute for me. <laughs> <laughs> stream Steam team. Team stream. Green meme. <laughs> I need to make my computer day mode so that my lighting is better. Sometimes the screen is just too dark. This is a dark game. <laughs> All right, he's done. <laughs> Wait, you can overkill him? There we go. Oh. Ew. Oh. You can go inside him? Wow, Julianne. Buy him dinner first. Crest. <laughs> I was thinking more like Chrono Trigger, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's May the 4th. He's a Tauntaun. Oh, yeah. Ugh. I thought they <laughs> smelled bad on the outside. Like a big chunk of money, which we will use very shortly to buy our uh, compass upstairs before we move on to area two. System settings. Turn this computer to daytime. Light. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so now that's where the map guy was. He's going to here and make sure there's not a thing. Yes, I have to be very careful about screen lighting because you, you can tell when someone pulls up a window. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. While you're talking to them, and I'm like, that's like. Mm -hmm. All right. 
See, now let's check out our map. It's filled in instead of dotted because we've been in all those places. Oh, Louis Simba, huh? Mmm. Oh, man. Say no more. Yeah, this is one. I think. And turn toast here can confirm. I uh, do we is this one of the ones that we have a physical release, like a limited run games for the Switch? I would guess that Joe has bought this physical. I'm pretty sure that was where I just like we were just. Um, uh, he he was just like inventorying all the Switch games, because my Mother's Day present came early. Um, and Joe didn't want to wait. And so, uh, everybody can be jealous because Joe got me an OLED switch and pre-ordered Tears of the Kingdom. So... It's a pretty boss Mother's Day gift. It, yeah, I, well, and then the card. The card could have made me cry. It was really sweet. <laughs> but yeah, I've been, um... I was playing the messenger, then I got to about the kind of halfway point of the messenger, and I'm like, this game's hard. <laughs> Which I knew, but it like ramp it really ramps up. So some stream trivia, the messenger is one of the only games I have practiced before I did it on stream. Yeah, it's hard. I I was I was really appreciating your skill, um, and the practice that you had done for that stream. Now playing it myself, I'm like, dang, this is like I consider myself okay at platforming games, but that one that one's got some bits to it. <laughs> And I got to the open world of the messenger in the two hours. Yeah, it was it was pretty amazing. It was like an all time performance for me in terms of like being good. Yeah, I, I've spent a lot more time just like dying constantly. And then that little creature that like steals money from you in response for <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reviving you. He, he like, laughs at me. He's like, you've died 74 times. I'm like, shut up, man. Right. <laughs> Have you started the time travel thing yet, or no? I'm, like, right at that point. Okay. But, yeah, I was like... This, this, it's the one where you're, like, at, at the top and the, the mages do the, like, Chrono Trigger boss moment. Right, they're gonna do the thing. They're yes. They're gonna do the thing. Um. Yeah, and I was I was just like, eh. So I switched over to Crypto the Necro Dancer. Um, came to Pyro, the yeah, wait, Zelda E one. And that one, I I enjoyed when we streamed it. Um, I really like Crypto the Necro Dancer, like in concept, but I I've never gotten very far in it. And I think, weirdly, Cadence of Hyrule is kind of training me so that maybe I could go back to Crypt of the Necrodancer and, like, actually play it. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I'm getting better at all of it. But right now I'm in the I'm in the DLC, um, like, Dark World stuff of, Crypt of the Cadence of Hyrule, and there's a puzzle dungeon that is wicked hard. But, like, puzzle hard. It's not like I'm dying. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, how do I figure out this this puzzle? But it's been fun. <laughs> Wet sound effects versus dry oh, sound effects definitely have a very different physical response. <laughs> Excellent. Wait. <laughs> Play a little bench. Let's have that charm for now. Okay. I like how the the Seraph font is feels very like souls, like Dark Souls. The a white Seraph font on a dark background. We're basically playing a Dark Souls. You this died. Is very much. <laughs> Except and, for the you died, which is red. Like, basically yeah. every reviewer was like, this is 2D Dark Souls. Oh, okay. Like, in difficulty, too? <laughs> in difficulty as well. And in terms of the deliberateness of movement, even though movement, like, I'm sure to the audience, looks quick, like I'm agile, like I'm playing uh, 
or any old platformer. Yeah. yeah. In terms of how the combat works, because I never get, like, I can only slash so fast, right? And all of my yeah. movements have to be pretty deliberate, not <laughs> like Dark Souls. I can't just press buttons <laughs> until I win. I need to be up one more, though. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, Garamond. You can't hurt me with that. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was Cyan's last name with the E at the end, I remember. <sighs> no, bad joke, unacceptable. <laughs> right, let's pop back up and give me the compass. Rejected. <laughs> you die. Oh, yeah, this way. Chadley. There's oh a God. there's an Instagrammer I've been following called Ashley Otison, and she does a like dad joke <gasps> series. Bafanada. And the one that I found her for, because uh, the algorithms know you very well, it was she's talking to herself, so she plays like both the person not appreciating the pun and the person making the pun, and goes, oh, you know, they they found a new mummy in Egypt. Like, oh wow, that's amazing. It was weird though. The mummy was covered in like nuts and chocolate. They're gonna call it Pharaoh Rocher. <laughs> the algorithm showed me that. Wow. I'm, like, I'm like, who is this woman? <laughs> Will she marry me? <laughs> I, I don't married, like, unfortunately, that the map requires all this money to actually flesh out. Again, money is. <laughs> Ah, uh, capitalism. Yeah, Always the problem. Here. We'll swap out charms here. I like the bunch and how it, like, looks at you head on. See, now I have a little guy that shows up on my map, which is mm -hmm. super nice. Which you think <laughs> cartography yeah, would be takes out. It's a map stream. Darn it! We need to upload the day. <laughs> yeah, the third I, emote I... that's coming is the not a map stream, Ryan, emote. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I made an emote like like over a year ago um, that just says it, it's not a map stream, Ryan. <laughs> and it seems like that'll be one of the most used emotes on the channel because like we always have opportunities to talk about it. Here's sad caterpillar grandpa. Oh. All his children are missing. <laughs> no. That's so sad. He looks like he's in a bowl of olives. That is <laughs> That and that is sad. <laughs> if it were, you know, a bowl of anything else. <laughs> you see the lone right? pimento? <laughs> yes. Delicious. At least they get all the growth. Right, let's move on. I like... Hold on. One, two... The music creates a very interesting depth here, um, you know, because the graphics, the graphics are kind of a, a mix. Like th this is a style that is very unique to me, anyway. Mm -hmm. Can you all tell I'm approaching the next area because the visuals are shifting mm -hmm. from, from Blue gray green. to the right, and now once I pass here, we'll get new music for the new area, and it'll be fully green. <laughs> really pretty. This is my favorite area. I was going like to say, it. it's your background. Yeah. It's the colors I gravitated to when I looked up backgrounds. <laughs> well, this is pretty. He looks stinky. Oh. Uh. sad suffering sounds in this game that I wasn't prepared for. Ugh. A lot of the sounds are like slimy and wet and disgusting. Yes, there's a lot of so, wet sound effects. Can we talk about what makes this foresty? I hear some woodwind. <laughs> Gotta have the the, <laughs> the, t the sort of piano ostinato, right? The amount of reverb. 
Yep. And the pizzicato strings. The like background bug noises too. Yeah. yeah all that atmospheric sound. Here's our motive. Take it away, Flutie. Yeah, not enough woods. Wood wings, yeah. but wood profession. That harp arpeggio. Mm-hmm. It gives it that kind of Wait, dreamy vibe, that right? That sounded like a marimba for two seconds. I heard, like, marimba and then celesta, or maybe glockenspiel. I sometimes get them mixed up. Aurally. Oh, yeah. Oh, we talked about music. Now, does this sound like a clarinet? <laughs> I, I did specifically request this earlier when it was like, what are we streaming? I was like, you know what? Uh, I've, and it's because when Joe was inventorying the Switch games, I saw this one. I was like, I need to see this game or, or play it. Yeah. And of course I will. I will start it and try it since we own it. Also, I'm going to screenshot the heck out of these areas and like use yeah. them as backgrounds for things. It's really beautiful. Your quirky double read motive. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I think the green path is the most loved area in the game. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's, it's like the jungly area in Metroid is my favorite for the same reason. It's like you're in all this like industrial KV, like dark, and then you're in an area where stuff is growing and it's vibrant. Is that like a poison swamp? Because green? Where's yeah, I can't fall there if that's the question. Okay. Oh, thank you for demoing. <laughs> no thank you. What did you just do with that little zoom in? What was that? Was that like when a heal? You, when you respond. Oh, it just zooms in briefly on you when you respond. Oh, I thought you liked something. Okay. No, I am steering the camera to look down so I don't fall like that. Right. Yeah, City of Tears is what is what I like. Oh, I'll be it's excited. Really beautiful. If we get there, I will be excited to see it. We're not going to get there tonight, are we? Uh, if I play out of my mind, we could. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, don't. Don't yeah, play no. out of the your mind, because is... I'm going to have to go in a minute here. But that means we might get to it next week. Yeah. Uh... That guy, by the way, his death sound, that's my mood all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, getting out of bed, like, to go to this faculty meeting. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Alright folks, I'm gonna peace out. I need to go and uh, tend to uh, a small sleeping thing. <laughs> Tell a small sleeping thing. I said hello. Yeah. <laughs> I will hug the small sleeping thing. Thanks for coming. We're Yay. so excited to have you jump on with us. Yeah, I'm really glad that I can start doing that again. So I will see you all next week, and Woo. hopefully that's when we'll hit City of Tears, because that is what I like. I like City of Tears. Can't that wait to good. see it. Cool. All right. <laughs> Night, folks. Good night, Karen. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I can't. I can't speak to why poison tends to be. I mean, poison is still green in games, but the idea of it being teal as well, or more, you know, as often or more often, I think just has to do with teal being a less common natural color. Just like how there aren't a lot of blue flowers. Yeah, maybe. Like that's kind of a rare, you know, and even even a lot of like berries and stuff. When you look at them, they're more purple. They're not like true blue. Right. True blue. I'm trying to think of a, a, a teal. Teal is. I don't know. I, I see this as green. I don't see. I, I see that, that bubble swamp is green in, in my screen. Not teal. Yeah, here. the light around Hollow Knight is more teal, but Oops. blue green perception is always. I, I find that to be a really interesting thing to see how people see color differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It's also, yeah, people's screens and stuff. Like mine is probably warmer now because of the night mode or something. So it's probably oh, yeah. re reading a little greener than, or yellower than yeah, teal. Yeah. I'm kind of curious actually. Maybe I'll, even though I, I switched the, the thing today though. So it should actually. Oh, this stupid mosquito that wants to ha drink my wine. Oh, what kind of wine is it? Just regular red wine. I don't even know, remember what kind of support a bottle. <laughs> See, we don't have mosquitoes yet because it was like 40 degrees this morning. Still? Oh, yeah. The it's last snow up was like two the days the 50s ago. here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it, it has been raining a lot um, and just mm -hmm. kind of like sitting in that like chilly damp. Chilly damp. But I did discover that um, lilac flowers are edible. I discovered this last year, but it was like right as the lilacs were no longer happening. <laughs> With us. And then I, I tried to make, there was a jelly recipe and I'm like, oh, that's like a really good way to like, cause then I can can it and then I can kind of hold on to it for longer. Um, but I screwed up. This is probably interesting to nobody, but I find it interesting <laughs> that uh, jam is easy because you use whole fruit and like the skins of the fruit have pectin in them. And that's like what makes it gel. Um, you can also use lemon and stuff to augment that. The acid or there, there's stuff in lemon that makes it like pectin like or that they derive pectin. And if you taste the powder like in a box of pectin, it tastes lemony. It tastes very like sour. Um, but jelly is generally made with like a juice of a fruit and not the, so it doesn't have skin, so it, does, it has lower pectin content. And therefore like the cooking of it is, is a much more involved process where like you, you have to bring it to a boil for specific amounts of time before you add different ingredients. And last year I wasn't as careful because jam, you can kind of mostly throw it all together. Like the sugar and the fruit can cook down together. So I did that and then read like, don't add the sugar before the pectin or it won't set. And so I last year I screwed it up and it was like the last lilacs and I was so mad at myself. But this year, it's the last lilacs. Yeah, there was it was like it's literally so the last ones I could get on the tree. Yeah. <laughs> and so this year, um, with all the rain and it's been kind of cold, like they're just barely open now. Um, but I, I was like, I don't know if if the frost, you know. Lilacs seem pretty delicate, so I was worried I was going to lose them. So I harvested uh, enough to make a small batch of jelly the other day. It turned out it's awesome. I added a little bit of vanilla bean paste to it, so it's like lilac vanilla. Mm, and it's like really the good. stuff of my dreams. <laughs> nice. And I, I, because it's the neighbor's tree that like overhangs our, um, our driveway, I told her about it. And I was like, I will give you, you know, a jar of it. So I brought one over to her yesterday. Oh, that's nice. Does anybody remember? Do I have to come around it from the bottom here? <laughs> a, little, a little reach around. I think that's the case. I might try above first, because I'm already up. Mm. Yes, get it, bassoons. Yeah, it's, uh... It's not a tree without a bassoon. <laughs> Remember that time that we recorded the measure of his reach on a tomatone? And we made like a shit post out of it? Yes, I do remember that. <laughs> no one remembers that. I really liked you my. You actually need to play Christmas more one. FF14, man. Yes, I do. I know. Summer of gaming. Summer of gaming. Once I, I, I just have to get a couple like modules built. This goes up. And then, and then most of my summer pretty much runs itself. Um, like I, I have such a good setup at this point, even in terms like the grading ends up being a joyful process now, which is what all I wanted to get to. Yeah, that is that is goals. Oh my gosh! Like where I'm not, I'm not sitting there. Even today, I you know met my TA. We watched projects. We we 
looked at the ones that were papers too, but there were a lot of ones to watch Oof. and just kind of enjoy. But it's like at this point, I even make my final project pass fail. So it's like, would this get at least a D? So there's no like worrying about like, oh, all oh, the like, nuances of like, yeah. D plus, like, it's just, did it pass? You just have to have a passing. And then we do have, we have a way of like acknowledging, like, there's a pass with distinction, which is kind of like saying, yo, you did a really good final project. And we did like at least half the class got that. <laughs> Nice. I did. I did something similar like that in my video games class, where I do S tier, which yeah. is above A. Basically. Oh, that's. I love that. I should put that as like a thing. I like S tier. They really liked that. And then like I, so every assignment, if they really, it was basically pass fail. But if like we really did good, I was like, this is this. It gets like a little nugget of extra credit when you get S tier. Mm. Um. Too, so that they could also like do really really well on something and then maybe not submit something else and it wouldn't they'd be fine for their right. final. Sure. Um, so I think that I think that worked well. But yeah, I'm also leaning toward like all of my grades this year uh, this semester were also basically complete and complete grading and mm -hmm. all the feedback kind of done in person in in the classes. So yeah, that and really then, helps. <laughs> and then when it comes time, like yeah, you eventually you have to translate things into letter grades. The way that I do it is the number of passing assignments in each category. Like you you need like four right. in this category to get an A, three to yeah. get a B. Like it, it, it ends up being really like easy for them to follow along. Yeah. Yeah. So in, it's, it's like, I say this to empower you all, like it took time. Like it has been literal years, especially with like adjuncting where I'm not doing it like technically full time. Like I've had to kind of like carve out little times to reorganize and think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it has been a slow process to get here. Having students not submit things. It's Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm curious. Like that sometimes they just don't do an assignment yes, or... Salimo. I mean, I certainly have some come in late right now. <laughs> but uh, they know yeah, they... If you oh, did every yeah. homework assignment, you've never been a terrible student. Full stop. <laughs> he... He, he's always joking with me about like, here's what your terrible students are thinking of like your syllabus and everything. It's like I challenge you to think of an even worse student. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. It sort of also depends on <laughs> that is called a good student. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this theme, this theme rules, and also this is very hard. So I There's that interesting that. effect when you get hit, where it like. Like in shapes. my headphones. Yes, yes it is. it's also like, there's it's a very filter. Yeah. My student actually talked about this in her paper um, for the final boss, too, because it's even more dynamic. I yeah, think. like really mutes it. It mutes it, like as if it's even, yeah, deafened. So she talked about diegesis and stuff. It was really good. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I understand that the. Um, <laughs> I, I also, like, I I really only had one class that I skipped in undergrad, and it's the nerdiest reason. I mean, it was, uh, there was, I just skipped because I kind of wasn't feeling it that day, but what I ended up doing instead of going to class was hang out with my, my opera singer best friend, Elena. She streamed with us one time. I don't remember what game we were playing, but she was in town and she was next to me. Um... We went to her dorm room and we sight read German leader with like her, she had a keyboard and her email. And that's what we did instead of me going to Japanese that day. <laughs> like even, even though really I, I was skipping class, but I was doing something so nerdy and educational. There we go. Like we still laugh about it. Cause I, we were like trying to read, um, Errol Koenig, you know, and the piano part is ridiculous, and then Elena was, like, doing all of the voices. <laughs> and it was amazing. <laughs> Shout out to the tests I passed. I'm reading Ooh. Wikipedia pages I thought might be relevant the morning of the test. <laughs> you are young. Wikipedia didn't ex actually did exist when I was an undergrad, but I want to pretend it didn't. <laughs> Well, it that's is, a lot all of a sudden. It's, you know, and it, it can go a long way to just if you if you're noticing someone's like not 
Yeah, just to just to participating. Just a, just a quick, quick, quick little like hey, hey. because on some level, like this is part of growing up. Is is like you you can actually have a lot of understanding from like people you're working with, but like you have to develop the communication skills, and particularly if you're if you're going through a depression, like that's the last thing you want to do is like talk to anybody about it. But like it's also how you can get a lot of grace and so that you have to kind of balance like learning how to let somebody know hey this is going on and like let's figure this out yep <laughs> I don't remember what year you were born 1990 Oh, Wait, who, who are we talking about? Because <laughs> I, I, I always think that you're a few years younger than me, but you're not. No, Julian is actually one day like older one. or younger than my brother. Mm. Oh. Older or younger? I forget whether you, are you the third or the fifth, Julian? Aren't you December? Oh, one day. I, I, yes, the fifth. Yeah, Tom is the fourth. Oh, cool. That's my uncle's birthday. No, it's much older though. Taylor's birthday. Oh, 91. December 91 is the... F oh, yeah, no, the December... Yep. I was gonna I was gonna bond with you about December, but if you're gonna... If you're gonna throw me out with the <laughs> 80s people, then... <laughs> <laughs> he's always making fun of millennials. I'm like, you you, you are one, so... <laughs> I know. Of course, so his new thing is that so he's, he's... He transcends generation. He doesn't have a generation, so... Oh, you're one of those like twelve-year-old YouTube commenters. It's like I was born in the wrong generation. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's that it's, it's he doesn't identify with the concept of generation at all. Oh, okay. You're not just trans trans transgenerational. That's Taylor true. Swift also he shares yes. a birthday with Taylor Swift. Do you know who I share a birthday with? No, Bob no. Ross. Oh yes, I'm like there's I know this. <laughs> this was and like, I oh. love telling people that because <laughs> it's amazing. And Walt Disney is not quite as wholesome, but still provided for wholesome things. <laughs> I don't know who was born on the sixth. America. <laughs> no, America was not born on January sixth. It died. Oh, no, I hate that. It died the like the death Whenever thing. I yeah. just Let's don't see. agree with Kate like, regular opinion, I'm like, where were you on January 6th? Uh, Alright, I'm, I'm looking this up for you, Ryan. Kate McKinnon was born January 6th. There you go. Oh, nice. Uh, That's a cool person. Joan of Arc. Uh, okay. Apparently. Okay. Joan of Arc. Uh, Eric Trump. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's really interesting. <laughs> Earl Scruggs. Cool. Who uh, did uh, finger picking. A innovative yeah, finger picking yeah, banjo. Uh, let's see. Carl Sandberg. Sid Barrett. That's a cool list of people overall. Nigella Lawson. That's awesome. Oh, and Norman Reedus. That's that's a fun video game related one. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you're like it, by the way, have you all Fifth. The, oh, the you're melody the okay. comes and goes based on what area you're in. Knew that. La, da, da, da. Get it, clarinet solo. <laughs> you get it, clarinet. <laughs> I can't make that. Okay, well, we're just gonna die. Oh, ouch. Come back later there. Mm, yeah, up. that little run sounds like it's maybe xylophone it starts out as, actually. Ooh. You know who else you share a birthday yeah. with, other than Disney? Uh, Disney? Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, I know. Wait, who oh. else? Oh, uh, Little Richard. Yes, yes. And Martin Van Buren, the president. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I like. I remembered him as a president only because we shared a birthday. Otherwise, he's a forgettable. <laughs> Although the sideburns are real good. Uh, let's see who's on my list, both good and bad. I don't know all these people. A Thousand Plateaus is just a platformer game. Oh, Winona Ryder. Nice. I don't rec Richard Dreyfus. Okay, I know that one. There's a lot of these people I don't know. Fanny Bryce. Um, Juliet Gordon Lowe, the founder of Girl Scouts. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Joseph Goebbels. No, nope, no. Nope. There you uh, go. No, 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 no. Run away. <laughs> Oh, there is something over there, though. Rat. Oh, that's not a rat. Can I oh. make that? Hold on. Let's heal up and try one more time. I like how you're behind the thingy. It's so cute. No, I can't make it because the stupid the wall is terrible. Yeah. I'm going to quit dying now. Reminds me of Celeste now. <laughs> With all the yeah. dying. 100%. I'm going to heal up this <laughs> thing. Hold on. So yeah, I, I I'm trying. To, I, I I don't want to sound like I'm being like kids today when I you know back to the like kids not submitting things, but I have noticed that going up post and uh, during and post pandemic here, <laughs> quasi post. I know, pseudo um, exactly. Because I think executive functioning is just still down kind of across the board, and there has been a lot of, like, just collective trauma people haven't dealt with. Oh, yes. And there's a lot of just kind of, like, shoving it down, and at least pretending like everything's back to normal, and um, pushing yourself to try to get back to, like, a pre-pandemic level of productivity. Yeah. We, I mean, we um, tried often, pretending you know, things are normal, and then... Yeah. February 13, the shooting happened here, and the semester wasn't normal anymore. Yeah. I actually feel very bad for this cohort of undergraduates that's graduating specifically, because at least at yeah. Michigan State, they got a total of one normal semester of college ever. Yeah. And that's about seven less than they deserve. Yeah. So I, I have noticed uh, it just like the shift... Uh, I, I was actually talking with Jen about this um, via DMs about um, having undergrads just uh, noticing a shift because I was teaching online before the pandemic, and I I think I'm one of like the few of, among my colleagues that was almost was doing that like to a significant degree um, in order to be able to make statements about kind of the the before and after. But I just yeah. Noticed, you know, there were obviously a lot of students that probably didn't actually thrive in those types of classes. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That would have been better served by an in-person class. But I still do get... Um, I think people assume online classes are going to be fun or easier. Um, or just better because they're asynchronous. But what they don't realize is, like, you kind of need a different skill set. And you have to be a self-starter. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not mm -hmm. that kind of, like, in-person reminder. Yeah. Um, like obviously people can skip classes and just not go to classes either and that that's a thing but um, you kind of you have to be a self starter and like I reach out as much as I can but some, some people are just better suited for online learning and I, I do a lot of focus like with my grad students can, can tell you this about like yeah. doing the metacognition about like your, how you work best and sort of learning um learning strategies it's like okay you know are you a procrastinator you know like what are your what are your no, tendencies none of us ever procrastinate well yeah you know whatever 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 the habit is good or bad like just kind of like learning it and being able to work with it to some extent and build in some mechanisms <laughs> So we, we do a lot of a lot of work yeah. on that, but I, I even do it with the undergrads a little bit. It's like you, at some point you're gonna need to figure this out just for you, like for your career and for life. So that's oh, yeah. way more important than the specific content mm -hmm. I'm doing most of the time. But I'm doing the best seminar of the fall, y'all. It's just called the 1980s. <laughs> that's very Man. cool. Yeah, I'm jealous of that. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> I can't wait. I haven't built the syllabus yet, but I'm already so excited about it. I want to take the 1980s with Dr. Dana Plank. It's gonna be so good. We're going to be looking um, at as much music as we can in like every genre imaginable, um, because the 1980s is just such like a an explosion into and fracturing off of, of mega genres into subgenres. 
And so we're going to approach things from the concept of genre studies and like defining like what are what are the boundaries? How far can you push something before it's no longer like rock, right? Um, and we start seeing a lot of that happening in the 80s. But we're going to be looking at like post-minimalism and neo-romanticism. So there will be like quote unquote classical music in there. Um, we're going to be looking at synth technologies and how that influences pop and media and we're going to look at the birth of like thrash <laughs> and like uh you know stadium rock glam like we're going to be looking at a lot of different threads yeah it's going to be so much fun so i'm still building my syllabus i don't know exactly like i want to do a little score study where it's available. Um, I want to do music video analysis because we want to look at the birth of MTV. So I want to talk about like methods for actually doing that um, yeah, in yeah, combination yeah. with looking at the music. Because uh, I did score study in the fall for my emotion seminar and I loved it. And it seemed like a really good fit for a conservatory because I have so many performers. They, they were able to kind of thrive where it's not just, oh, this is a long reading I had to do. They were able to just like kind of come out of the woodwork and be like, oh, I did this analysis, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd like to do more of that with the grads. Yeah, I have some interesting, you know, it's like some areas I, I I know that I have a good sense of at least where to start looking, but there are some, some other areas where I'm like, oh, I'd like to cover this, but I don't even know what literature is out there, so. That's going to be a summer project, is just like figuring out what I want to look at. This is the coolest creature. Would it, like, <laughs> this is like a hedge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just like fighting a hedge. That's a nice articulate cello there. I like how dynamic the boss music feels as well. Like it just integrates into the main theme. Yeah, I really like that style. Yeah, where it just like ramps it up. Mm -hmm. But it still feels seamless because it's just expanding on what's there. For this one. This would be a really fun one to cover. Oh, yes. We're going to look up just in general, like, what kind of sheet music exists for this. Is there, like, a piano collection? There is. There's I've got it. Dana, there I can is. Scan for you. It's really? the guy who's right. singing the song. You know what it reminds me of? What's that video game that goes? Death is in that book, too. That would be great. Yeah, no, uh, Jin is right. You can't come to this area until much later, like, comically later. Which is really annoying because you can hear map guy singing and he's on the other side of the barrier oh so you really... can't get to him right <laughs> what is that song though that's a real video game song yes i said song okay um, work that... <laughs> video it game is like work. Taunting i love sure. i love saying song to people that hate it um i've never cared about that or I even noticed I'm trying to think like one that has jumped out at me where I've been like, Ugh. what is that? What's that? What's that game? It's like a famous game. That's Luigi's Mansion. Thank you. <laughs> Which I haven't played, but like, ugh, it's like the tune and stuff. Thank you. Thanks. And also Jin in the chat as well. <laughs> I don't think he's singing Luigi's Mansion, but I've decided actually, yes, I do think he's singing Luigi's Mansion every time we come across Map Guy. There's a cellist um, that we, so we played at this new venue recently. 
um, last weekend, and it it was it's a converted like it's a church that closed down and got reworked into a wedding venue. Um, so like they stripped everything out. It's just like white walls, um, but it it still has a really pretty like rose window, um, which I think they replaced just the very center, whatever the religious st- thing in the middle was, because now it's like a bouquet of flowers. I'm like that can't be original, but it's pretty. <laughs> Um, very cute, like huge, pretty stained glass. Um, you know, but it, it still has That's the cool. shape where, because it was a church, it's like shaped right for a wedding processional. And then they, like, the church basement got converted into like a reception space. Um, and we we walked in, we're like, oh, this, like the, they did a nice job, like making the aesthetic, you know, real clean, but also kind of a blank slate where you can do a lot with it. Yeah. We're saying this would be a fun place to do like a benefit concert. And I was saying for years now, I've wanted to do like a nerd one with like video game music, but also like movie and TV themes and stuff like that. And she was like, oh, we should do it. <laughs> so stuff like this would be really fun set on like a string quartet. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. With the like spore, no, explosive it's not cool, spores. I'm gonna die up here, <laughs> and I have so much money. Hollow nest. Oh, you lose your money when you die. That sucks. That's really rude. I do not like this financial system of this game. In this economy. Ha. Ah. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Are you working on your video game beep speech sound? Yeah, I know. Wow. Hire me. For your random indigestion noises. Provide <laughs> <laughs> I would love to play arrangements like a like woodwind choir arrangements of some of these tracks, because they already so lend themselves to that. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these translate really this, well. This great. I almost never do. Like chamber music for brass and woodwinds. Very every now and then I I get asked to do one, but. <laughs> that was cute. That's me. Wow. <laughs> Tag yourself. That's me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> has that kind of like Wario sound. It is Wario. <laughs> wow. Wow. This game wow. is basically Luigi's Mansion. I actually wow. think this now. <laughs> Head canon is that this is like some rant, like the backyard under the log <laughs> of Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking about this. <laughs> I loved him. Oh my gosh. Aww. I need to like, get a screen grab ready for the next one that pops up and try to get him when he's like... It is adorable. That's the thing. Wow. That's so cute. Oh, the babies. No. <laughs> This game would be heart wrenching. <laughs> I know. I don't like the crying caterpillar. It like r- ruined my day. <laughs> oh, is this a bot? Oh no. Oh. You deserve to die. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at how. Mushroom babies. Look at how grumpy he is. Why is he hitting this head against the wall? Or the floor? Oh, buddy. <laughs> Don't. Make some soup with that. Oh, I think that. Oh no, did the mosquito? No. Not my wine. No. Oh, wow. Wow. No, I don't think it went in. I think it looked like it did, though. Uh, I don't know, Jamie. It's because I don't actually remember where I'm going. I'm just going right now. 
So if you want to steer and like guide me there, I'm willing to do that fight tonight. But I don't know if we'll get there because literally I'm wandering until I find a bench at this point. I don't remember what the critical path is. Five second roll for bug dunks. <laughs> The like deflated noise. That's so funny. I think I am slowly en route to the mantis area. It's a question of whether I can get there without going back to town and spending all my money on upgrades. I need to send this to my student that just defended their thesis, so maybe they don't want to see it. But they were arguing about Dorian as a kind of nature mode, and this is like right in the pocket. It the I ultimate Dorian question was the is, monk key. Jin, like, <laughs> the Mantis fight, I remember being very hard. And also, I remember it being the end of the truly linear set of upgrades. Which is to say, one of the interesting things about this game is that you reach a point in the mid-game where there is no single critical path expected of you. In Super Metroid, for instance, hold on, let's... uh. Listen. In Super Metroid, you're supposed to get the Morph Ball and the Missiles first, then you progress through and you get the Super Missiles, and then you get uh, the High Jump Boots and the Charge Beam, and then the Various Suit, and then blah 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 blah. After the Mantis fight, the next upgrade is your choice. There's three different upgrades the Mantis Claw enables. And I don't think you need any of them at that point to finish the game for the normal ending. You know, I'm going to go talk to that guy very quickly in case I miss something. Thus, Manuran. No, Kuninailo. Okay, we'll meet later. That's fine. I think the typing sound goes really well with this. <laughs> like at first I thought it was in the game and I was like, what is that noise? Like it, like it must be a little monster in the background. <laughs> I was I looked into like the Dutch oven because I didn't even make like a full recipe. Um, hey, very quickly, can we talk about how smoothly the bassoon lot. enters the soundscape? If I go up, it goes away, right? On this screen, we get the full piece. And I'll tell you, I've known some some bassoons that are not smooth in their entrances. <laughs> it's so hard. The soon, like when played, so when played well, is yeah. like absolutely transcendent. But it, it can also it has a high, yeah. flatulent <laughs> in the wrong yeah. hands. The farting bedpost. Yep, exactly. <laughs> or the right hands. <laughs> yeah, maybe the right hands. Depending, depending on, what on what you're going for. <laughs> oh. oh. 
Yeah, I I really do. I'll have to send you stuff on the um the the Makani recipe from from this Dishum cookbook. It's amazing. It, it's a lot of work though, and it, obviously like nothing can really replicate the kind of char that you get from a tandoori. But like the flavor of the sauce is amazing. Um, but it's a mul- it's like a huge multi-step recipe. But it, it it's so worth it as like a special thing. It's one of my favorite things I've made out of that cookbook so far. But I still can't match the the paneer makane from India Garden here. We actually had them cater our first dinner for our wedding because it was like our second or third date was there. The grating monolith, indeed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my favorite person. Good old da, 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 totally. <laughs> It is, yeah. <laughs> That's not it. But... Oh, Stefan, I sent, I sent someone your dissertation, or at least referred them to it. Um, a student who's doing a video game, or trying to think of a video game dissertation. And I brought up concerts and things, because I think he might be interested uh, in some of that, the arrangements and things like this. So. And we just read your Uematsu concerts. Thing that we covered on stream. <laughs> from the book, right? From the book, yeah, from the Omatsu mm-hmm. book. Because they actually owned the book at the library. Nice. nice. So I had the I, I know the paperback is out, I think, now. Oh, so that's pretty yeah. cool. cool. I, I just held on to the version, I, the version I had, but the students got to read the Sorry, Stefan. <laughs> yes, you are being unfortunately perceived. You are visible in the field. Apologies. <laughs> Field visibility is a whole ugh, annoying thing, but it's like that's part part of my evaluation was like, how visible are you in your field? And they're like, you seem visible enough. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just saw the first mantis, Jen. So get excited for me to fail hard. I'm always oh. excited for that. <laughs> Failure is how we learn, Ryan. That's true. That's true. Nothing anybody here likes more than watching me eat it. Oh, I love... Oh, that's great, Kate. I love when they tell you to set yourself. That's, like, such a good sign. It's never... I mean, that's certainly... That's like, when that... If that ever happens to me, I will save it. <laughs> like, in my folder of, like, good times. Good things. <laughs> Yeah, All everybody right. start start like a, a happy folder of like if you get an email from your advisor that's like nice feedback on a go. dissertation chapter, like oh, save yeah. that stuff. Save it. Mm-hmm. Like print it, you know, like have it have it so you can look through it when you're having a bad day. Mm-hmm. We're about to start the mantis stuff, and I agree with Jen. This is exciting. Look at the welcome sign here. This is not Ponder, a friendly game death, anymore. Well, Maybe you find okay. swift end of ponder. ponder claws. Honestly, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I come here with a thousand? I always do this every time I've played Hollow Knight. I end up like a ton of money. Having here. too much money to lose. And then you die and you lose Stakes it. Stakes are high, yeah. Yep. This is perfect. Music theory. Why don't you want to be perceived in music theory, Stefan? I'm always nervous people will discover how bad my theory is if I am perceived in that field. Oh, welcome to the club. I think theory prides itself on making everyone feel like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, but I, I've explained. I had, I had kind of terrible conservatory theory, so. where there were a lot of things. I, think, I actually think you had. People are always surprised to know how little theory I've actually had, and I still call myself a theorist. I am. I'm very. I like to empower people. To wait, believe isn't your that, PhD theory though? It's history and theory. So it's actually, and, and Chicago is very weird. Like a lot of the theory is like philosophy theory, mm-hmm. but like I didn't do that much analysis. I never had. So you probably have more critical theory than the average person then. Yes, and even then I, I'm like compared to a, a good you Chicago win. I, I'm not a good critical theorist. So I'm like a big imposter in all the places, but I still think that like Things like performance are versions of analysis. Things like interpretation is a, a form of analysis. So I like to, uh, I don't know if that's me coping, <laughs> but 
but I think there's a lot of, of an analytical work that should be counted as music theory that isn't like, can you do part, part writing in 18th century style? You know, like, can you do mere money and transformations? And also, these guys are too cute. I just like, I want to undertale like past this run. <laughs> this see, game. Where you become really friends cute. with the mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a boss I was struggling with in uh, Messengers. The the like the former messenger lady that has become like the mushroom queen, and she tries to mushroom you. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I was like, Duh, she's hard. <laughs> you can go that a way. A lot of tries on that one. Up. Scared whiny person. We have to go this way. Uh, look at this glorious map update, though. That feels good. Yeah, you can see a lot more. Looks nice. Yeah. Fungal wastes. <laughs> That's a terrible <laughs> band name. <laughs> go up and left now. <laughs> I do try to keep my head under because there are a few very conservative theorists at, at um, you know, that have certain ideas about what theory should be. A lot of it's like pedagogical. But even at the undergrad level, I'm like, do we really need to have students be so, for instance, keyboard focused? Like, why, why do our fundamentals textbook like demand mm. keyboard knowledge? Is that really essential? Um, yeah, that's an ongoing conversation like at Michigan State, I know. Though as a non-music oh. faculty member, I don't have to be a part of it, per se. And I say this as someone who used to teach from the piano and realized I wasn't reaching everybody. Um, but I did that because I thought it's what I had to do. I thought it was like, how to be a cool theorist is teach from the piano. And I stopped doing that. So, yeah, it's a, it's a huge conversation. Who even gets to decide what real theory is? Well, I don't know. Michael Buckler here at FSU is the president, so I always tell him he can wield his gavel and tell me <laughs> if I'm a theorist or not. Luckily, he has a great sense of humor. <laughs> uh, yeah. Come on, come down, come down. Real theory. There's real. Th there's hard theory, soft theory, like that stuff. Oh man, I hate all that crap. I'm just like, you know what? I just want to teach these kids to think good and write good. So if they can communicate, advocate for themselves, they can be good citizens in the world and whatever. I would just be sitting at the bench plucking at an awkward I mean, that's kind of what I do half the time. Bach theory and then there's fake theory. <laughs> Bach. The mantises, by the way, have you noticed that they dash forward almost exactly the length of your dash? Rude. Which means you can't hit them and then dash. You have to, like, ah. have a game plan the entire time. Fake theory. There is no fake theory. Well, that's all fake. There's no real theory, that's what I mean. <laughs> and then there's the pastoral topic. Oh, yeah, this, this is, like... A, a meme for Joe where, you know, when he's come to conferences he feels like everybody talks about the pastoral like all the time. <laughs> I was joked about writing uh, a fake abstract and sending it in to Nakfigam just, just to see. Well, oh I'm yeah, he also kidding. he also has minor the theory that minor scales don't exist. As <laughs> okay, well I'm going to ask about that later. But I, have a, I, I was just literally reading three hours ago, like a, an article, I forget where it is, a chapter that's like, you know, the pastoral has a lot of definitions, doesn't it? Like people like to take that one and run with it. 
So you're not too far off from what actual theor actual real theorists think. Uh, major scales are all that's real. Only modes exist. Well, why is minor mode not a mode? Why did my theory <laughs> that minor scales isn't fake? Major scales. Well, depends on, yeah, it depends on what you mean by scale. Is it a collection of notes? Is it a pedagogical practicing up and down your instrument? Or is it something that you're defining tonality with? Right. Or so, modality. Really. As an aside, we have our Mantis Claw wall jump now, which feels really good. Hell yeah. Game. And now we get to be done. No, I'm just kidding. Now we have to go fight the really tough Mantis boss that Jin actually wants me to fight. Yay. And I think they're up and right and down. And then that's going to come close to doing it for our evening. Yeah, I can't go that way. Okay, they're not that far down. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, I agree that learning harmonic, melodic, and natural minor is really kind of a confusing waste of time for most students. We learn it that that early and then assume that like ma like music is built on those scales when they're not really. Uh, and like the melody has to be one way and the harmony is. It's like so confusing to students. Yeah, that I agree with. Though true like Aeolian mode, which is to say... <laughs> Where it makes Natural, sense to use that description minor. is pretty yeah. rare. Right. Uh, In like classical style. And... Jin, do I go to the Which is what here most people are learning. The Mantis Lords area? Cause, oh yeah, because now I can follow. Uh, what's her name? You went backwards. Oh, that might have been from before. Oh. Uh, so I don't go this way? Do I go. Do I follow Hornet for the Mantis Lord fight, or do I go back to where I was and down? Jin said, yeah, you could follow Hornet now, but I don't know if that was a few minutes ago, because <laughs> we're on the delay. Well, no, I know I'm mechanically capable. Yeah, I'll go back to where I was. We can there follow Hornet next time, because that ultimately is the way to the City of Tears that Karen wanted to do. Mm. Mm. Major scales don't make me sad. <laughs> Bedtime, that means we might get a, a baby cameo. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I mean, heck yeah. <laughs> I gotta start to censor. <gasps> when they get to toddlerhood, they just repeat everything. <laughs> yeah. Not that way. It's kind of amazing, actually. My parents were leaving, and I went, see ya, and she went, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God, I love toddlers. Uh, I know I don't have ones. So I don't know all this the struggles, but I love playing here. with them. Oh my God, they're so fun. It's, this it's, way it's like, leads to the fight. I love little kids. <laughs> I mean, they they will they will push your buttons and like because the meltdowns. Yes, they, they're completely irrational. Where like it's one thing if you're like oh. You know, I said no to something you wanted and now you're crying. Like, I understand that you don't have the emotional regulation that makes sense. But then, it, like, when they melt down over nothing, you're like, what's happening? Like, god dang it. Night <laughs> night, can you guys hear that? Yeah, no. I heard it. Night night. Can you say night night? Night. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Oh my god. Oh, good girl. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by. Uh, you have to go the other way. way. I think you're going the other way. Yes. Okay. I'm going the other way now. Hold on. I gotta go through Mantis Village here. She's just starting to learn how to say "I love you." Down this hole. I'm just starting to learn how to say "I love you." That's, That's so right. cute. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, it makes me happy. I mean, the closest thing to it right now, which also warms my heart, is, like, if, if she's down with Joe and I, like, go down the stairs to go see her and I hear, Yay, Mama! 
No. <laughs> like, ah, I could die. Yeah. Also, the way that she says colors, it kills me. Like, I have to get a recording of her saying all the colors before she, like, says them properly. Because, like, hearing her go yellow, like, I was gonna her little... say, how is yellow? How does yellow it's, go? It's like a yellow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Yellow. But she she's always so confident and excited when I yes. ask her, like, what color is that? You know, and she'll think about it and go, purple. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're the best. So yeah, they, they have those moments where you're just like, oh yeah, like, is it annoying when you like melt down and I can't like figure out why oh, it's, you're, you're just having a moment? Here it is, everybody. Yeah. Let's listen. Like, yeah, but they make up for it. Challenge. Is there a bench? I don't think there is. Sorry. <laughs> here we go. Ooh. Ooh, harpsichord. Yeah, this is very good. This is Bach theory. I know, Joe went upstairs. Joe, come back! Missing the Bach theory. <laughs> A little Vivaldi, actually. Oh my gosh, it's so Baroque. Oh my god, yeah. Are we- is this winter? Like, what if there's so much? This would make a really good string quartet. Are you kidding me? There you go. Yeah, it would. Oh, I get to heal. Ah, uh, should only heal one though. One. Does three. remind me of that. Hold on. Awesome. I really enjoyed Wednesday. Yes, me too. Turns out there hasn't really been anything done with the Adams family that I haven't liked. <laughs> hmm. Which is good. I hope people continue to <laughs> do good things with that. Property. Oh my gosh. They're so stabby. <laughs> yeah. I feel ya. Ah. Somebody has a clarinet quartet of this on you, score, Julianne. Ooh, I'm gonna go get that and eat it. <laughs> Let me see if it's any good. Yeah, there's some bad stuff over there. Nope. I could have healed and I didn't. So bad. Do you use me score, Julianne? I do. So, like, if I sent you the the thing, I would be able to. Because I, I I subscribe to Muse score. It's actually one one thing that I do pay for. So that means I I, oh. have, download, I have download privileges. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. Ah. Boom! Did it. Ah. 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 All 
right. Wild. Whew. Okay. I'm sweaty, and I didn't do anything. <laughs> I just watched that. <laughs> I love how they're like, yes, good enough. They're like bowing good to you. Good enough. Yeah. It's true, yeah, you don't have to fight the mantises anymore. That's nice. They seem hard. Both of them at once is tricky. Lost. My favorite YouTuber is always doing, like, good enough. That's like her, her little refrain when she's working <laughs> on craft projects. Mm -hmm. Whenever I hear that now, I just hear her singing that. <laughs> I want better lighting before I go here, I think, actually. I'm going to go up and out and save my money so I don't die all over the place. <laughs> now, what I don't know is why Rachel Maxey has chosen to sing Good Enough to the tune of Total Eclipse of the Heart. I don't know, but it works. <laughs> I like, can. turn around, but good enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. I love they just bow you. Uh, I think you can go out this way, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, so check it out. Even the normal mantises will just bow now. Aww. Friends! We're now friends. There we go. Now that's one way to make friends. I want to make friends. Defeat them in combat. Mm -hmm. Defeat the mean ones, and then everybody else mm -hmm. will be nice. Yes. Meh. 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 <laughs> the Waluigi mushroom is our, <laughs> oh, I know. is our new goal for friendship. Oh, wow. Look at them. They're bowing. <laughs> like, and turning around and bowing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. So cute. That's a cool bench. Yeah, it is. Uh, and I have a nice little map of everything as well. Mm. Take that, the mark of pride. I need to not sing Suteki Dane instead of that motive from Hollow Knight, but the first like three notes are very similar. <laughs> Bug shells. It looks like pill say, bugs. I was gonna say, like beetle carcasses. Like <laughs> they look like little pill so. bugs. Yeah. I just like oh. never thought about it. I didn't realize how buggy this game was. I meant, well, I actually meant literally like oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's geo the currency. <laughs> Jin's right. Geo. Cool. In, in my head, this game was gonna be like. I, I was picturing like he doesn't have a soul, you know, like like the hollow. Like I thought it was gonna be ghostier. Ooh, ooh, can we get I to like mod people? So I'm I'm like really really happy and surprised at the aesthetic. Oh, sorry, I'm really slow at this, but Dana might have it up. Sweet spilled mole though is a really good name. <laughs> spilled mole. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Maybe it's spilled mole like the sauce. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> the spilled mold. I'm like thinking about what that many animals we're killing in this game, and I um, guess I'm primed by that. Heck yeah, we made it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, got a bot. <laughs> Love it. I, I'm never in mod mode. I always forget. I always tell my students that like they can be really excited when they uh, <laughs> have. The, I want to offer you. Our some channel is not like big enough where the modding is is like an unfortunate chore, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I right, right. It, it is kind of like, oh my gosh, we got spam. You got spam. I know. So I think I'm going to go follow Hornet, and then the next bench we find will be done for the night, and we'll play Disco Cactus arrangement, which is gorgeous. I was going to say. Green trail. And if we needed to, night. like, do a level of trombone champ or something, like, we can always do that. 
do what I, have, I can't do though? I, I cannot stream that. the game that I've been playing more than any other game this week. Yeah, you can't. Sorry about your life. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. How is this mosquito so dumb? All of you are in for a treat though. Holy smokes, is it good. I'm really glad. Of course I am. I know that I am. You don't need to tell me that. Damn, I know that I am. You don't need to tell me twice or once or zero times. <laughs> I'm getting too high now. Oops. No, and I, I had a feeling that we were probably gonna get Tears of the Kingdom, but I didn't, I didn't know that I was gonna get to play it on a gorgeous. I know it's gonna be so nice. Uh... It's been great. Like, the, I mean, I, I've been gaming on my Switch again just to like see the colors because it's so vivid. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Oh come on, oh. I did it. <laughs> There you go. Beep. This is very oh. celestial. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, hi, hello. Just an Gosh. energy refill guy. Oh, ooh. Because it that jump an is hard and you might need to heal. Yeah, these are some celesty <laughs> jumps up in here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're now, to the, we're now to the part of the game where all of the game is hard. The platforming gets hard. Yeah. Uh, the part enemies get hard from here on out. The, the Mantis shit. fight is pretty much the defining factor there. If you can do that, you've got a shot. Out. Ah! Thank you. I took two hits from that. <gasps> Need to carry an albuterol inhaler. <sighs> this is the city of Tears theme, I think. I know, Ryan makes a lot of these games look easy. Like, I, I'm so impressed. Oh, I know this one. This is the one that Disco Cactus sings. Disco Cactus's arrangement is a mixture of this and of uh, Green Trail. See, now I'm going to be able to appreciate it so much more. I, I listened to it and thought it was gorgeous, but I didn't know it. There were a lot of, I mean, to be fair, there were a lot of tracks on Oops. that album that I didn't really know the originals. I just was like, this is great. Yeah, the whole whole soundtrack here is like miraculously excellent. Just, is this all, um, are these per real performers or not? My, I don't actually know. Right, we're gonna call it here. We'll start here next week. I think I'll be a bench friend. That's okay. cool. So it's composed and performed by Larkin and a few other artists. So might be a mix. Okay. <laughs> I'll be roll in the inhalers. <laughs> and, and I think. <laughs> give me one second, everybody. Yeah, I'm not finding credits exactly, but... I think I have the high-quality version of the track downloaded, but if I don't, I'll grab it off of Bandcamp very quickly. Bandcamp. Oh, yeah, of course I do. Uh, turns out Disco Cactus's music is one of the groups I, I actively pay for, rather than just... It's a good album. I recommend it to a lot of people. <laughs> is a very good album. <laughs> All right, and what I'm going to do is let me go to my email very quickly and grab the sheet music to this because we can actually watch this whole arrangement in sheet music form 
live. Really? That's cool. <laughs> That's my kind of my kind of watching right there. <laughs> I know. I just have to search my email for Disco Cactus, which is more than <laughs> you get get enough wait. updates. All right. After we sign off, I have to play you guys a couple things. <laughs> okay. Mambo number honk. Uh, uh, there's that'd always that. That'd be funny. If that was like the way you just like uh, trolled us. No, I I, I want to show you a couple of the uh, final projects. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let but me I see if will not stream them. That makes sense. This is obviously not a big enough size to read or be useful on stream. Give me a minute. What if I trim this out? I Still like the Disco great. Cactus logo. Why don't you just do I'm like gonna full screen a line or two at a time? Yeah, and yeah, then, will. yeah. But let me reshare and then zoom differently here. Oh, this is exciting. I love sheet music. <laughs> I actually just finished an arrangement uh, for string quartet. That still doesn't look good, stream friends, does it? Uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little eh. What it's a bit blurry. To, uh, to this. You know what? That's enough <laughs> for you all to get the gist of it. And mm -hmm. probably bad enough that you can't actually end up stealing it from. Yeah, everybody. that's true. <laughs> oh, there so you I go. might, there you go. We might live perfect. with this here. Yeah, that's fine. And then if I scroll, can you all? Yeah, that works. OK. Should I turn on Twitch? Um, I mean, the. You're going to have to turn on Twitch, because I can only share audio or sheet oh, music, sure. and you want to hear more than you want to see. I guess. <laughs> yes, where is my audio? There it is. All right, for now, let me share via Discord the sound, and then we'll get going here. Oh, so we are listening on Discord. Yeah, I'm very confused now. Yeah, you're listening <laughs> on Discord. You're going to watch yeah, on the oh, stream. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. We're good. Okay. <laughs> I understand now. Okay. Because I have to get the sound to you, right? Like. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought you were saying we had to listen on, on Twitch. On Twitch, yeah. That's, that's no, no, no. Work. You guys can listen on Discord. We had the same confusion because we are the same person because we are both brunettes. Indeed. That's right, and all brunettes. White girls. That's right. <laughs> white brunettes. White, white brunettes. We look girl. the same. <sighs> I forget. I don't how even that remember where that thing. started. It's been no. a while. It's been a while that we've been hammering on that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go.
right. Man, it's <sighs> wildly good. Ugh, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> Stay <laughs> muted. <laughs> like, I didn't want to unmute myself. I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> Way too good. Yeah, if you don't Way own that good. whole album yet, like, go buy it right now. Seriously. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, it's so Did good. You like my it? my yeah, favorite. Let me do that. So I think that I love that track. Um, didn't know this this game at all. Just knew it had good music and loved this track. And now I have context, which is great. Um. But my favorite tracks on the album are You're Lost, which is their Link's Awakening. Like, it, it starts out so unassuming, and then it turns into this, like, ridiculous jazz, like, fever dream. <laughs> I don't know how to describe yeah. it. It's really good. Yeah, they cool. actually just won an award. Uh, and they just won an for award that. for the music video for it. Yeah, over at VGM Con, which I desperately... Uh, need to go to next year it's in minnesota how was i not there so fun um the other favorite track which was a stretch goal for the album and i'm so glad it made it was their cover of last surprise from persona 5 which i prefer to the real one in the game like hands down (laughs) Mm, yeah for sure is so good and a lot a lot of that is laura's voice on the vocal um i i prefer it to the original it's so good (laughs) Yeah. Oh man. God dang. I'm going to <laughs> discreetly go shopping in Hollow Knight between now and next Thursday so that I can <laughs> buy everything and we can cruise through most of the rest of it. I mean, there's I can't do the whole game in one more week. But here's the thing. We're going to have to take a break after next week because two weeks from now i cannot imagine us not looking at tears of the kingdom we're gonna play tears of the kingdom for sure and i am purposely going to not spoil the ending i don't think or anything like close to the end two weeks from now but the opening areas and the way music works in this game relative to breath of the wild i think will be an interesting conversation Uh, i cannot say anything with any detail about it or Dana will murder me forever. But it's true. Uh, it is good, and it's going to be worth chatting about. That's what I'll say for now. Oh, so good. So yeah, next week we'll do more of this, because I'm really excited about it. Me too. I'm really glad we got to this. Yeah. Yeah, That this was definitely... I know it was on our like Google Doc that we sometimes remember to look at. Right, I have actually, some games I need we, to add to that. We did not this time... This morning, I was like, hey, hey, what, what are we doing? And none of us thought to look at our organized document. That would have been so Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I, I considered it, but the, then I was like, what if I throw Hollow Knight out instead of us like, yeah. pulling that out, up? <laughs> and I know that's on there, so. It is. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I had a lot of fun doing it, actually. I'm looking forward to next week. Yeah. See everybody then. Bye, folks. Bye. Everybody. Happy end of semester. Yes, that's happy end of the semester you. for those of you to whom it is relevant. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Big apologies to Jen and everybody else who is You'll on make the it. struggle bus till the end of the quarter <laughs> instead. <laughs> yes. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs>